Hi, friends. Today, we're learning about numbers. These crayons will help. Let's turn them around. There's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and finally, purple. So let's get started. Let's see what's inside the red crayon. What do you think it is? It's a number block with one eye on its head. And this is a red number one. Cool. There's also some red Play-Doh, which we can squish, twist, smoosh, and pull apart. Maybe we can make something with it. First, I'll roll it nice and flat. I can't forget this side. It's almost as thin as paper now. That should be enough. Now I'll take the number one and press it into the Play-Doh. When I lift it up, I can peel out the number. And look, it's a perfect number one. Let's try another crayon. Yeah! This one is orange. And inside, there's an orange number block. It's made of two blocks and has a number two on its head. It even has two eyes. Let's cut out the number two using the orange play dough. I'll smush it flat first and then use the rolling pin. Have you used a rolling pin before? Maybe when you made cookies with your parents? That's flat enough. Time to make a two. Pressing it in will make an indentation in the Play-Doh. And there, it's a two. Now to get it out. Ugh, but it seems to be a little stuck. We don't want to ruin it. If I'm really careful, I can do it. Yes, a perfect two. You know, I think it looks like a swan swimming in a lake. Here's our next crayon. It's yellow. Can you guess what's inside? Let's find out. It's the yellow number block. How cool. Let's take a closer look. I see that it has three buttons and a three on top of its head. So with the yellow Play-Doh, we'll make a number three. What does yellow remind you of? It makes me think of the sun. I love playing on a sunny day. There, friends, that's flat enough. I'll push in the cookie cutter and wiggle it about. Did it work? It did. We can get rid of the extra Play-Doh, leaving just the three behind. The number three. That means we've gone through three colors so far. Wow. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for lots more fun. Okay, so we've done one and two and three. So number four is next. Here's the green crayon. And do you know what's inside? Wow. Another number block. He has a four on his head and is made from four blocks. What does four look like? We'll make one together, friends. This time, we'll use green Play-Doh. What else is green? Grass is green. Leaves on trees are green. Limes are green, too. So cool, right? Yeah. This is my favorite part, cutting out the number. I can't wait to see it. That's just the outline. Where did our four go? Aha! Uh -huh. It's inside the cookie cutter. And here's the number four. It's made out of four straight lines. Perfect match. What color is next? I think it's purple. I love this color. Here comes the new number block. Look how tall he is. He's made out of six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's a six up on top. It's the tallest number block. It's not really purple, but we'll pretend it is. Let's get started. We'll take our Play-Doh and we'll make a purple pancake. I bet it would taste like grapes if it was a real purple pancake. Yum! The rolling pin makes this so easy. See, we're done. And look how smooth and flat it is. Remember the next step? That's right. We press in the cookie cutter to make a six. Wiggle, 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 and here's our six. We don't need this Play-Doh anymore. There, our final color is done. We did it, friends. So, let's count them all together. Do it with me. One, two, three, four. Wait, where's five? Oh no, we missed one of the crayons. We better open it right away. This one is the color blue. Inside, there'll be a blue number block. 
I see it. Yay! We should take a closer look. See, her body is made of five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And of course, she's the color blue. Something's missing. Oh no, we have no blue Play-Doh to flatten. Here it is. Now, we can make our number five. Time to smoosh this dough. Smoosh, smoosh, smoosh. Look how flat it's getting. This blue reminds me of the sky. Or maybe a pond in a field. What does it make you think of? It's time to cut out our five. Press, then wiggle it around. I think it's ready. There's our five. It looks a little like an upside down tube. So our five goes right here. Now we have all our numbers in place. Thanks, friends. You did such a great job helping me. Oh, wait, wait, we're not done yet. Let's have some fun with the numbers we made, all right? Yay! We'll start with some pink Play-Doh. We'll be making some very special cutouts with this. Remember, we always start by making it flat and smooth. Like this. Phew, this is a really big piece, so we must work extra hard. We can do it. Keep rolling. I think I should roll over it a few more times. Done. Now, the fun part. Is it another number? You'll have to wait and see. I'll press this next shape here. And then the last one, right about here. These shapes let us play with the numbers we already made. This is an equal sign. And this is a minus sign. And this is a plus sign. We use them when we do math. Let me show you. I'll take the one. And I'll put it here. And in the other space, I'll place a three. Right. But what does it mean? It means one plus three equals four. That's math. We can also subtract using the minus sign. We'll take away the plus sign and put the minus sign here. I'll put the five next to it. Now we have six minus five equals one. You just did subtraction. Great job, friends. Next, we'll use the three. And this time, we'll add something to it. I think we should use a two. So when we add three and two, what does it make? It makes five. Three plus two equals five. I'll move the two over here and remove the five. Then I place a one here, and you have two plus one. Two plus one equals three. Math looks hard, but it's easy the more you practice. Let's try it with a six this time and see what happens. If we use the minus sign and put a five next to it, we're taking five away from six. So six minus five equals one. Well done. I'll use six again. And beside it, I will put the minus sign. Here we have six minus four, and that equals two. We no longer need the six, so let's take it away. And we'll move the four to the front. Now we'll have four plus something. How about four plus two? So four plus two means you combine the two numbers and you get six. Cool, isn't it? I had so much fun learning with you today. I hope you did too. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.